But then there is this final one um, that I'm going to speak about this morning that is near and dear to my heart, and that is the dreamers. So in a family that was provided great opportunity through immigration and robust academic possibilities, I would say if we do not find a credible way to deal with our immigrant personalities, problems, issues, families, then we will diminish our democracy in ways that we will only have ourselves to blame. Several weeks ago, a couple of major philanthropists from around the country, not several weeks ago, several months ago, came to me and said, Mel, we've put together a pot of $100 million, and we are going to every state in this union and we're going to say to them, we know the politics are that you can't get the DREAM Act through your s state legislative bodies for whatever reason, through the politics of governors and mayors and state legislatures. But what we are doing is we are going to every state government and we are saying, if you give us the opportunity to take these immigrant kids who are graduating from our high schools, give us the opportunity to have in-state tuition rates, we will pay for these kids to go to college, we will give them a stipend to live on, and we will use only seats that will do not, not diminish your own state opportunities. To date, after a two-year effort, only two states have agreed to do this. I would say to you, ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity to use private philanthropy to get over the hurdle of educating our young immigrant students who really do us enormous credit and give us an enormous reason to be prideful about our great democracy, it will be one of the great missed opportunities.